In this video, we're going to talk about compiling with warnings, something that I highly recommend that you do. So we're going to see some examples of how compiling with warnings can help you catch bugs in your program. All right, so let's start off with the question. So what does this program do? I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, so this code is actually going to print out hello world. So do you see why? So we probably made a typo here, right? So instead of saying if x equals equals 1, we just said if x equals 1. So instead of comparing x with 1, we're actually assigning x to have the value 1. And in C++, an assignment actually returns the value on the right-hand side. So this statement evaluates to 1 x equals 1 evaluates to 1. So that actually makes this if condition true. So therefore, we're going to print out hello world. Okay, and this is, you know, I've made this typo before. It's, it's a, you know, common thing that can happen. Um, and that's why we want to get our compiler to help us out. Okay, so, you know, the compiler can be like having a tutor right by your side who has encyclopedic knowledge of C++. So in this course, we're going to compile with the flags wall and wextra. Okay, so, you know, from the, from the command line, um, you know, you can compile like this. So in this course, we're also going to use uh, C++ 20 version of C++. Uh, and you can add the flags w all w extra. Um, so that's how we're actually going to compile on on ed. Okay, with these flags. So if you start seeing some messages on ed that you don't see on your home system, uh, that's why. Uh, so if you're using VS Code instead, then you can add these d d dash w all dash w extra to the list of arguments to the compiler and the tasks.json file uh, to compile with these warnings as well. So on Godbolt, there's a little box where we can add the compiler flags. And uh, when we compile this, this, pre this code snippet on Godbolt with these flags, then the, comp the code still compiles and we can still run it, but we get a warning. Okay, and the warning says suggest parentheses around assignment used as truth value. Okay, so it's not accusing us of making a typo. It's not saying, hey, I think you made a mistake there. It's just noting that we're using assignment as a truth value and suggesting that if we you know, really want to do that, we can make more explicit that that's what we're doing by putting parentheses around it. Okay. So this is actually what it's suggesting that we do, that we put parentheses around this assignment being used as a truth value. So if we were to do that, then uh, you know, now it will compile without any warnings, even when we're using w all w extra. Okay, so but you know, if you were to write this from the start, then probably that's what you intended to do. You know, that that's not likely just to be a typo when you wanted to do a comparison if you have those extra parentheses. Okay, so as we go on, uh, I'll point out more things that compiling with warnings can catch for you. But in summary, my suggestion is always to have the compiler help you out as much as possible and compile with w all and w extra. And, you know, don't just look at the warnings and go on, you know, try to fix any warning that is given to you.